Isn't it the most wonderful gown you've ever seen, Grand Mary? The most wonderful. <laughs> I was just on my way up to see Cornelia. Join me. You look like a fairy tale. Yes, like a princess. <gasps> yes, I have some pieces here. They've been in the family for years. I don't feel you must wear them. Oh, anything, Mrs. Edwards, thank you so dear much. Oh, dear, they are. like Oh, them. my. Yes, they were. They're so pretty. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, my goodness. They're so delicate. Oh, they're very wonderful. Pretty. They're lovely. Don't feel obligated. But thank you so much. Really. <laughs> All right, Agatha, don't be upset. Mother's veil? Oh, I couldn't. You must. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you both so much. Would you help me? Gardener, have this woman to thy lawful wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Wilt thou, Cornelia, have this man to thy wedded husband? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh, I get so full harder. Catch. Mm. But then again, we always knew she'd marry well. Not so well. What do you mean? His niece is coming to stay with them till Christmas. <gasps> Poor Cornelia. A ready-made family less than a month after her wedding. Bye, mother. 
We'll be back in a month, and then we'll have many wonderful adventures. How does that sound? Are you ready? Letting Cornelia have your mother's bail was very generous, Samantha. I did it for you. I know. Have a wonderful time! <laughs> morning and then I followed him and found his secret hiding place the well <laughs> whatever should we do with it I know the perfect place for it thank you Good morning a day. I miss you so much. I'm going to miss you something awful, Samantha Parkington. You promise you won't forget me now? Forget you? I'll be back before you know it, and we'll celebrate Christmas after Christmas together. That sounds grand. I promise. Not even New York City can keep us apart. You'll see. Today, Uncle Gard, Aunt Cornelia, and I went on a tour of New York City. First, we stopped in the Madison Square and saw the magnificent Fuller Building. I sent you a slide. They call it the Flat Iron now. Isn't that silly naming a building after an iron? Oh, Nellie, there are so many people here from all over the world speaking different languages and shouting and laughing that it makes my ears hurt. And the streets were so full of carriages and automobiles that there were times where we could hardly move. Uncle Guard says that next month, an underground train will open. It's called the subway. And it can take a person from City Hall to the Harlem Meadows in less than 15 minutes. Imagine that. Oh, and I tried the chestnuts, like you said. I like the smell better than the taste. Hello. Hello. One, please. There you go, miss. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. School is going fine, I suppose. I'd like to introduce a new student. Samantha Parkington who comes to us from Mount Bedford, New York, which is quite a change. Isn't that right, Samantha? Yes. Maybe you'd like to tell us a little about your life in Mount Bedford. Well, first, Mount Bedford is not a mountain. It's houses and churches and a river. And what river is that? The Housen. <laughs> the Hudson. <laughs> the Hudson, sorry. That's all right. We're all nervous when we come to a new place. The river is the Hudson River, the same one that runs down the west side but of But it would be so much more fun if you were with me. I miss you so, Nellie. Please write back soon. 
Your best friend, Samantha. Dear Samantha, I'm sorry I haven't written much, but Dad's been under the weather, and I've had to take on more chores. Your uncle's house sounds grand, all stone and marble, like the fine houses in the Gramercy Park that Dad used to point out. I miss you too, Samantha, and I can't wait until you get back. Love from your friend, Nellie. Mrs. Vandergeld has installed a shower. <laughs> Passing fancy. Like rain shower? Exactly. Only it's inside the house, and you stand underneath, and then the water falls. A ridiculous contraption. Absurd. Prone to breaking, I'm sure.